Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, we're here, we're here, we're here. Praise the Lord, people of God, I, I, I know you're used to the mobile office uh, for the sweet hour of prayer, but we got a break, we was able to come back um, to the house briefly, briefly, I tried to get on Facebook a little earlier, it of course threw me off, you know, Facebook don't get along with Pastor Stone all the time, but listen, tag somebody in, share this, share this, copy this link and share it. Let someone know that the old time prayer is about to go on. Let somebody know that if you need prayer, praise the Lord, Sister Josephine, Sister Cassandra, Deacon Serac, praise the Lord. Listen, let somebody know, amen, that prayer is in session, that prayer is about to go down. Praise the Lord, Sister Harris, let somebody know, amen, that we are about to approach the throne of the Lord. Let somebody know that we are about to summons heaven, hallelujah, to come down to us because it is praying time. It's time uh, for somebody to reach out and call on the name of the Lord. I don't know about you, but uh, it's time for God's people to come together, get on one accord, amen, and speak the same language, say the same thing, and petition uh, the same God. God bless your sister Tracy. It's time for us just to pull it down. God bless your sister Denise. Praise the Lord. Amen. Tag somebody in. People share with somebody. Uh, go, go ahead and go out. Copy that link. Go on your Facebook page and go ahead and post that link. Let somebody know, listen, it's time for us to come together and bombard heaven because we need the Lord's presence. We need him to show up, Sister Shuford. We need him to work a miracle on our behalf. We need God, amen, to supersede everything that's going on. It does not matter what the news media say, Lady Nakia. It does not matter. We need a hallelujah. We need to petition God. We need to let him know that we need him to take complete control. No half-stepping, not 99%. We need the Lord to know we need you to step in 100%. Amen. 99 and a half won't do. Don't leave nothing out. Don't pass anything by. Everything that I got going on, Lord, I need you not to be a part of it. I need you to be in control of it. We have to uh, we have to get before his throne and let him know that it's not about us, it's about you. We have to let him know, amen, that we 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 <laughs> We don't want you to show up. We need you to show up. We 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 <laughs> We don't want you here. We need you here. We need your Shekinah. We need your anointing. God bless you, Minister Lodgin. We need uh, your assistance because we can't make it on our own. So if you are, amen, ready to approach, hallelujah, the throne of God, if you're ready, amen, to let God know that we need you, we, 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 we can't make it without you, but in you, Lord, we live, in you, Lord, we breathe, and in you, God, we have our being. I'm so grateful to be able to have this platform, to be able to pray, amen, and, and, and incorporate my brothers and my sisters, the ones I know, the ones I don't know, because I know one thing, the one thing that I'm sure of is prayer changes things. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to ponder it in my heart. I know that the effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. I might not be able to get to you, but I know, amen, that prayer will reach you wherever you are. It does not matter what you're going through. It does not matter how dim it looks. Prayer, oh my God, will fix it every time. They say prayer is the key and faith unlocks the door. I, if, if you're with me, I hope you share this with somebody. I hope you tag somebody in, whether they like it or not. Tell them this is what you need. Amen. God, God, God commanded me to tag you in because you need a hallelujah to feel his presence. You need, amen, to feel his anointing. You need some things changed in your life. So we're not going to hold you. Amen. I, I hope that your minds are set because we're about to go to the throne of God. And I hope you're ready because God is already 
working it out before we even open up our mouth. God is already showing up. He's already in the home. He's already on the job. He's already affecting your family. He's already moving in your finances. He's already, hallelujah, touching your body. He's already reconstructing your mind. He's already reinstituting some things that you thought you lost. He's already bringing some things back to you that was needful for your survival. He's already, amen, matriculating things, amen, that is going to work out for your good. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come to say thank you. We come, Lord, because you've been so good to us. You've been so merciful, God. You've been so kind. You've been a very present. Say thank you. Thank you, God, because you know, you look beyond our faults and you saw all oh, our very need. Thank you for loving us enough. Uh, oh, God, to look beyond, Lord, our inconsistent ways. Thank you, God, for loving us enough. Uh, oh, God, to see about us even while we was in our mess. Uh, oh, God, thank you for loving us enough. Um, oh, God, not to allow us to fall into the enemy's device. Uh, oh God, thank you for loving us enough, for uh, holding us and uh, catapulting us into our destiny. God, we might not be there now, but we know that we're on the right path. Why? Because we know that you are leading us. And Lord, we thank you for the mindset that you have given us. God, we thank you for the mindset that you have bestowed upon us. God, we thank you for the mindset that we have, because if it had not been for the mindset that you have uh, constructed in us. We wouldn't even be here right now on this prayer. Oh, God, petitioning you. But because our mind is, oh, my God, stayed on you because it, it does not matter what we see, but because our mind knows uh, it might not look like we wanted to look, but our mind knows we don't walk by sight, but we walk by faith. So, God, right now we want to take time and say thank you for our mind. Thank you, God, for the things that you have placed in our views. Thank you, God, for the level that we are on. We might not be where we want to be, but, oh, God, we thank you that we're not where we used to be because you have came. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, you made mountains move. You made valleys, God, erupt. Uh, oh, you led us through, Lord, the wilderness, and for that we say thank you. Thank you, God, for the power that you have given your people, God, with the mindset you have given us, you have stole us power. And we want to thank you, God, for the power that you've given us because even the devil is subject uh, uh, to us and for the, oh God. And for that, we want to say thank you. Thank you for the power and the ability, uh, oh God, to pull down the strongholds that the enemy has placed in our life. Thank you, God, for the power that you have given us so that we can walk on every high place that the enemy thought that we were not strong enough to mount up to. Thank you, oh God, for giving us wings as an eagle, uh, oh God, because we dared to wait on you, Lord, when it didn't seem like it was going to work out, we waited, God, when it it seemed like it was going to turn around for our good. We waited. Uh, oh God, when folk left us and talked about us, we waited. Uh, oh God, when things transitioned out of control, we waited. Uh, oh God, when folk persecuted us, we waited. Uh, oh God, when folk told us to move, God, and you didn't speak, we waited. Uh, oh God, and because that we waited, we trusted in you. Uh, and because of that, you have commissioned us, uh, oh God, to move and change locations, change positions, change Lord elevation status and we thank you for the growth that we see in us God, every one of us God, we, we thank you for where we are now, this is not the end but this is just the beginning huh? oh God, thank you for your breath of victory, huh? oh God because when we would be defeated, God, you breathe on us, huh? oh God, when we thought we was going to throw in the towel you breathe on us huh? oh God, when we thought that we was down and we couldn't get back up. You breathe on us. Uh, oh God, I declare and I decree right now uh, in the name of Jesus, God, that you would breathe in every home. Uh, oh God, that you would breathe on every job. Uh, oh God, that you breathe on every marriage. Uh, that you breathe on every relationship. Uh, oh, breathe on that mother and that daughter. Uh, breathe on that mother and that son. Uh, breathe on that father and that daughter. Uh, breathe on that father 
mend that son. Uh, oh God, bring and mend the relationship back. Uh, oh God, let your love abide and destroy all evil. Uh, Lord, because you said perfect love casteth out all fear. Uh, oh God, we speak love and peace. Uh, we speak tranquility in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh God, let our minds rest in the knowledge uh, that you are the head and, and everything around you. Uh, oh God, is destined to win. Let us know, uh, oh God, that wherever you lead us, uh, we're going to follow God. Move God by power divine. Uh, bind up the enemy that causes confusion. Uh, bind up the enemy that comes and causes sickness. Uh, bind up the enemy that causes depression. Uh, bind up and bind up that suicide spirit. Uh, oh God, let your people know that you are enough. Uh, let your people know that you can make it uh, as long as we keep you first. God, move by your power. Uh, in the name of Jesus, break and rattle every shackle. Uh, oh God, until your people are set free. Uh, bring down, God, everything that exalted itself above your name. Uh, oh God, allow your people, uh, oh God, to continue to pitch you first. Uh, let your word permeate our spirits. Uh, let your word permeate our minds. Uh, Oh, God, let us be cognizant of your moving. Huh? Let us be cognizant of the devices of the enemy. Huh? And don't let us fight one against another. Huh? But God, can we condition our mind huh? so that we understand the weapons of our warfare? Huh? Mm, are not carnal, huh? but they're mighty through God. Huh? Oh, God, see to the pulling down a stronghold. Huh? Loose, baby, Satan. Huh? Oh, my God, loose right now. Now, in the name of Jesus, I command sickness to be loose. I command disease to be loose. I command hatred to be loose. God, loose your people. Allow the joy of your spirit, oh God, to dwell in the hearts. God, let your power, oh God, let it rain from on high. Shower down, oh God, your blessings. Shower down, your anointing. Shower down, your power. Shower shower down. Uh, your command, your elevate somebody. Uh, commission somebody uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, bless your house. Uh, bless your house. Uh, every house that's standing uh, under your name. Bless it right now. Uh, strengthen every leader. Uh, strengthen every minister. Uh, strengthen every pastor. Uh, give strength, Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, God, allow us to speak victory huh? when we would speak defeat huh? take control of our tongues huh? let us understand huh? that life and death forever both see huh? are in the my Messiah huh? are in the oh my God huh? are in the power of our tongue huh? help us speak victory huh? through our storms huh? oh God make us huh? and mold us huh? into what you want us to be huh? oh God we will give you glory huh? Thank you for your presence. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, God, I felt that break. Um, somebody was released. Uh, somebody was set free. Uh, and, God, we thank you. We thank you because you've been so good to us. Allow our ears to hear you speak. Allow our minds to know who you are. Oh, God, and while we are still under your anointing, lead us into a pasture. Uh, that you have created just for us. Oh, God, if you do it, Lord, we know that you are worthy. Touch every bereaved heart. Touch every bereaved family. Oh, God, let the peace that surpasseth all understanding. Oh, God, let it rest even now. For we know that there's no sorrow that heaven can't bear. Hold your people up, God, by power divine. Build a hedge, even a stronger hedge around us. Lord, that we may know you in the body of your death, that we may also know you in your resurrection. Oh, God, give us the power, God, to be able to stand even when we don't see a foundation. Oh, let us know that it's not according to what we see, but it's according to what you speak. That prayer, I hope that God 
hallelujah, broke something. I felt a shift. I don't know. I don't know where that shift came from. God, uh, hallelujah. He he broke somebody's shift. I seen, hallelujah, I seen them shackles, that weight that you was feeling. God said, release. God, hallelujah. He said, I'm releasing it. I'm, I'm releasing it. That mother, that daughter, God said, I'm releasing it. Hallelujah. It's too much for you to bear. God said, I'm taking it from you if you would give it to me. Hallelujah. That job, don't worry about it. God said, I'm releasing. I'm, I'm, on, I'm not only releasing, but I'm going to provide even beyond what you owe already thought that uh, amen was provided by another source. God said, if you just let me be God, oh, hallelujah, glory to God. If you just let me be God, I'll show you who I am. Hallelujah. God bless you is my prayer. I thank God so much for you, you, and you, and you. Listen, if you have a prayer request, drop it in the comment section. Pastor Stone will be more than happy to pray, amen, for you, pray with you, because I know, amen, that God answers prayers. Amen. Keep us in your prayer. Keep Upper Room Worship Center in your prayer. Keep keep Dr. Stone, keep Pastor Stone in your prayer. Amen. Keep me lifted up that I would endeavor to do what God has called me and assigned me to do. It's not about popularity. It's about pleasing God. And if a man waves, please. Listen, that's all I want to do is hear him say, well done. Thy good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over few things, but I'm going to make you ruler over many. Enter ye in to the joy of the Lord. God's been good to you. Hmm. He's been good to you. And if you don't say nothing else, you owe God one thank you. Huh. Even if you don't think you owe him a thank you, you owe him a thank you because it's some stuff he did for you that you wasn't even aware that he did for you. So in all of our going and all of our going out and coming in, don't in all the business that we have to handle, don't forget to tell God, thank you. He's worthy and he's deserving of the praise, glory, and on. I'm Dr. Alexa Stone, the senior pastor of Upper Room Worship Center, 1008 Main Street West in the great city of Valdez, North Carolina is where our church is and where we fellowship every Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Come be with us. Tune in with us on Facebook. Amen. Where we will do what God has called us to do. We love you so much. If we can be of any service. Amen. Please, please, please reach out to us. Amen. And we will do exactly what we have to do. God bless you. Amen. Pastor McCoy, we, we bless God for you. Amen. Keep us in your prayer. Amen. And know that we are praying for you. I bless you and I bless God for blessing me to be a blessing to you. Keep God first and everything else will fall in line. Pastor Stone loves you with the love of the Lord Jesus Christ and be blessed.